Welcome back to Wiz Rundown. I'm Jaqued and I'm excited to talk to you about everything new with Wiz from Q2. This quarter, we've got some big product updates and a major milestone to celebrate from our customers. Let's get into it. We're thrilled to share that over 50% of Wiz customers have reached zero critical issues, officially joining the zero critical club. That means they've eliminated the most dangerous attack traps to their crown jewels, which is one of the most impactful ways to reduce cloud risk. As more customers reach zero criticals, we're excited to add two new programs, the Wiz All-Stars Club and MTTR Streaks, to further recognize and motivate teams that drive exceptional security outcomes. Now, let's talk about one of the biggest updates this quarter, Wiz OS, our new hardened container operating system now in preview. Wiz OS is a near-zero CVE container-based image that sets a new standard for secure software delivery. It's built on a custom hardened Linux distribution with its own isolated build pipeline, strict dependency controls, and a lockdown security model, eliminating vulnerabilities at the source before they ever reach production. For security teams, WizOS means dramatically less noise from recurring CVEs and a stronger baseline for runtime environments. For developers, WizOS means smaller images, faster builds, and fewer CICD slowdowns, helping them move faster without sacrificing security. Next up, I'm excited to introduce the Wiz Service Catalog, a new way to organize cloud risk based on how your teams actually build and ship applications. Wiz now automatically discovers all services in your environment by mapping your cloud resources into logical services like a payment service or a blog, based on tags, environment variables, code signatures, and image repositories. The service catalog page presents all services in your environment and gives you all insights about each service, including ownership details, environment tags, and all the security risks associated. In the service details, you can see its mapping on the Wiz security graph and review insights such as the Wiz issues that relate to the service, the resources and vulnerabilities it contains, and then you can respond by creating automation rules to notify the right owner. Wiz provides built-in discovery rules, but you can also define your own. Once services are identified, Wiz surfaces them for review, making it easy to approve and add them to your catalog. The service catalog gives developers a full picture of their service's security posture, so they can monitor and fix risks proactively, making it easier to reduce risk faster, shift ownership left, and scale security across the business. Next up is the vulnerability tree map view, which is a new heat map style view that highlights the packages introducing the most severe vulnerabilities based on both volume and detection method. Each tab is sized by issue count and color-coded by detection type, so you can easily identify where the highest risk lives. It's not just a prettier view, it's a faster path to impactful fixes. Let's move on to API security. APIs are one of the most exposed parts of any cloud environment. With the new Wiz API security now in preview, you get deep visibility into your API attack surface. With this update, Wiz now discovers active API endpoints in your environment using the Wiz runtime sensor and gives you the full API inventory on the Wiz API endpoints page. It shows you exactly where your endpoints are hosted and maps all endpoints to their cloud context to flag security risks such as public exposures, misconfigurations, and sensitive data access. So you can quickly assess API exposure and risk. It's a major step towards securing APIs in context and it gives teams the visibility they need to reduce exposure and stay compliant. Next, if your team uses Bitbucket Data Center, we've got great news, Wiz code now supports it. You can connect Wiz to your self-hosted Bitbucket instance to scan code repositories and pull requests and detect risks like exposed secrets, vulnerable packages, and misconfigured ISC. Wiz maps your Bitbucket data center environment on the Wiz security graph and adds context around access and security risks so it is easy to understand what is the risk and who should own the fix. And you can even suggest a PR fix directly from Wiz. This update brings shift left security to on-premise environments, making it easier to catch and fix risks earlier in the dev lifecycle. Next, let's talk about secret validation, which is now in preview. Wiz now automatically checks whether a discovered key is actually active and usable by calling the provider's APIs. That means you can quickly filter out inactive keys and focus on the secrets that pose a real risk. But not only that, it also gives you a proof of remediation. Once a developer revokes a secret, Wiz revalidates it to confirm it's no longer active, so you know the fix actually worked. 
It's a faster, more reliable way to manage secret exposure and close the loop on risk. Lastly, we're thrilled to welcome 26 new partners who joined the Wiz Integration Network in the last quarter, adding integrations that expand what teams can do with Wiz. From enriching risk context, to streamlining remediation, to connecting to the tools that security teams already rely on. And that's a wrap on Q2's biggest updates. Thanks for tuning in to this Wiz Rundown, and we'll see you next quarter.